Wheel soap or wheel shampoo is becoming quite a popular addition to some brands product catalogue but what do they offer over a wheel cleaner or a basic car shampoo? I've gone all out and bought 7 different ones to compare in this video. If you always wanted to know what a wheel shampoo was but were afraid to ask then this is the video for you. So welcome back to GM Details, I've been wanting to make a video covering wheel shampoos for some time now. My collection has grown from 3 to 7 different products now and I've already got some firm favourites and some that, well, aren't really so good. So I'm going to show you all 7 in use and give you a general rundown on them at the end of the video. Sound good? So let's get into it. So starting off with the number one question on everyone's mind that hasn't used one yet is just what is a wheel shampoo? As for some of the mobile guys they maybe don't see the need for one where an all purpose cleaner probably does a huge percentage of the pre-wash stage but I do know professionals who do use them and here's just a few benefits that I've found using them. Number one, they're similar to a wheel cleaner in terms of cleaning power. Now that's only talking about a maintenance clean for now, I'll cover other conditions a little later on in the video. Number two, I find a wheel shampoo should offer more lubricity, something a dedicated wheel cleaner or all-purpose cleaner doesn't have a lot of as lubricating qualities for brushes or, or wash mitts and I feel that's important certainly from my user experience anyway. The third point is a wheel shampoo is a shampoo at the end of the day and yes weekly or bi-weekly washes are where they come into their own. Your brake components alone over time will benefit not being doused in up to 30% caustic soda every week as some wheel cleaners are incredibly harsh with very high alkaline content and or acids and alcohols. And finally the last point really comes down to cost, in most cases Wheel shampoos are more economical than using ready to use products which usually are priced around £10 for a 500ml bottle where wheel shampoos are around £10 for 500ml or sometimes even a litre but they're all concentrated and you're using very little per wash but I'll cover costs as we go through the video too. Now you'll know yourself when you can use a wheel cleaning shampoo better when it's your own car but if you're a mobile valeter you're probably wasting your time if your customer's wheels look like this or this, this, this or this. These are all wheels that I've cleaned over the years and the problem comes from assessing the condition of the wheel and remembering a wheel shampoo works best to maintain their looks not to get them good looking in the first place. That's the job for an alkaline or acidic product to remove the brown baked on stains you get from very poorly maintained wheels. And although these ones might not look too bad, they actually took me two hours to clean all four wheels. They were actually nearly gold in colour. A wheel shampoo just isn't going to improve anything here. But as I maintain my wheels pretty well, a wheel shampoo has been the only cleaning product I've been using barring the odd decontamination every few months. So here's the list of what's been tested here. Autoglans Hoops, Duca Wheels, 26 JPN Wheel Soap, Autobrite Direct Just Wheels, the Detail Kitchen Wheel Whiskey, HDD Breakthrough and Garage Therapy 1 Wheel Shampoo just hiding in the background there. All of these products will be used as per manufacturer's recommended dilutions in a bucket of warm water and also in an IK pump foamer. All links to everything used in the video will be in the description box below. So please just sit back and enjoy it. First up is Garage Therapy One Wheel Shampoo, 10 millilitres in the IK foamer, 500 millilitres of warm water, gently shaken and not stirred. And that's complemented by using just 5 millilitres of the shampoo in my buckets which have around 10 litres of warm water in them. This is the IK Foam Pro 2 hand pump foamer being used here. The difference between this and the IK 1.5 foam is completely night and day, which you'll see later in the video if I remember to mention it. You'll notice no pre-rinse, which does go against Garage Therapy's instructions here, but they don't all advise that, so none of the wheels the shampoos are tested on in this video are pre-rinsed to give them all the same chance. 
Remember this was just 10 millilitres of shampoo and 500 millilitres of water. You can push this dilution up to about 700 millilitres of water if you like, but again for fairness all the dilutions in the foamer for all the shampoos are exactly the same. I'm using the EZ Hogs Hair detailing brush on the tyres again, not to give them a scrubbing, but to get some indication of whether the shampoo is actually cleaning the tyre or not. You'll see the foam turning brown if it's effective, which this one clearly is. A few minutes in and you can still see the shampoo sticking to the spokes which is helping to loosen up the dirt ingrained in the spokes and also some areas you may not be able to reach. After the shampoo has had around 5 minutes to dwell, I go in with the EZ large wheel barrel brush which has been soaking in the shampoo solution to the left. I'm starting at the bottom as this still allows the top half of the wheel extra shampoo dwelling time rather than the excess water causing the shampoo to be rinsed away too early which will reduce the slickness and the foam aiding to the removal of the brake dust and dirt particles. A wee tip for you. Now depending on your wheel spoke design you might need to use a smaller EZ wheel barrel brush too or maybe even wheel wheelies. I can't use wheel wheelies on mine sadly but I've not noticed any damage from the bristles on the EZ brushes as they're very soft. Coupled with the slickness from the wheel shampoo everything all works in harmony and I actually really enjoy cleaning wheels using this method. Last stage then is the spokes themselves with the Garage Therapy wheel wash mitt. It's just the right size for getting in and around the spokes and just perfect for cleaning the wheel faces. I see a Vican brush being used a lot on YouTube for wheels but I can't bring myself to use a brush on wheel faces like these diamond cut ones. The wheel mitt fits in perfectly with my routine and I can't see me changing it anytime soon. The final rinse off and even with a garden hose the shampoo rinses away cleanly leaving none of its own residue behind and after cleaning 4 wheels in the car I can say that the shampoo solution does last throughout the wash in the bucket but I don't dip dirty brushes into clean shampoo. I'll show you later what I do. So that's the end results for the Garage Therapy One Wheel Shampoo. Wheels are perfectly clean and ready for a spray and seal protection, a wax or even a quick detailer would just finish them off nicely. Moving on to shampoo number 2, this is the brand new addition from Autobrite Direct using the same 10ml and the 500ml solution in the IK foamer. It applies a nice sticky layer of shampoo over the spokes and tyres, it's got a lovely creamy texture to it and for the enjoyment factor a nice fruity aroma is present there too. It's only been dwelling for a few seconds and already it's starting to pull some surface dirt out from the barrels and as I pan back you can see it's got slightly more bubbles in it than the Garage Therapy One Wheel Shampoo and it's already started to show some signs of dispersion away from the spokes just a little bit. I'll just demonstrate this by speeding up the film slightly. It's not a major disaster but worthy of noting that throughout cleaning the garage therapy wheel it had kept the shampoo clinging on wetting the grime for a wee bit longer. Still the foam around the tyres has remained creamy and I'm getting a little dirt removal with it but I'm not sure at this stage whether it's more than the garage therapy or not. All the brushes and the wash mitt has been thoroughly rinsed between each test and just look at the bucket of suds you get from just wheels. This is actually the only shampoo here which has identical dilutions to Garage Therapy and very oddly the exact same user instructions on the bottle and almost exactly the same website descriptions too. That's not awkward at all. I had to pause here just to take this shot just after cleaning the bottom half of the wheel. 
Now front wheels usually have more grime to clear and brake dust so just look at how much of that brake dust has been encapsulated in that foam which I love to see. I do believe it's a safer way for grime to be removed and less of it is going to be scratched back and forth by the brush action. Finally for the wash mitt cleaning the spokes of the wheels and this is where I spot that it's a tiny fraction less slick than the Garage Therapy 1 wheel shampoo but it's almost an insignificant amount. I still think it's a very enjoyable product to use. The rinse off is just as you'd expect from any shampoo, nice and clean without any sticky residue and even with the garden hose all the grime rinsed away without a problem. It's priced at £10 for 500ml at the time of filming and it's exactly the same price as Garage Therapy and easily picked up from Halfords or you can try Autobrite Direct themselves. So to sum it up, I'm very impressed with Just Wheel Shampoo and how it's maintained this wheel. Of course the product is probably only playing about 20% of the part here and 80% is the process but I really enjoyed using it and the results clearly show it's worked well so 100% going on the recommended list. Next one up is 26 JPN Wheel Soap, first one on test to be advertised as a pH neutral soap. So it's the same 10 millilitres of shampoo in the 500 millilitres of water in the foamer and it goes on like an explosion in a marshmallow factory. The dwell time is sped up 20 times here to show that even after a 5 minute dwell the foam is still clinging on and the best thing about it is it's not like a dry shaving foam, it's settled to being a super clingy and wet, soaking the brake dust and helping to dislodge the dirt and the grime. The website says it's good for cleaning tyres and it certainly seems to be getting some grime out of the rubber here. So in the wash bucket I've got 10 litres of water the same as all the other shampoos have had. So for the dilution I use 25 millilitres as 26 JPN recommend 50 to 75 millilitres in a 20 litre bucket. You don't get short change with the slickness or the suds at this lower end of the dilution either and the cling time has to be one of the best in test so far. There's certainly plenty of brake dust flowing out the bottom of the wheel and the foam there as I work around cleaning the wheel barrels and brake calipers. It feels good with the brush and it's pretty much the same story with the microfiber wash mitt too. A very nice product to use. The shampoo is rinsed and all the suds and grime are flushed away effortlessly with the garden hose. No need to use a pressure washer on wheels in my opinion. Those who have BMW M Sport wheels will tell you of the difficulty cleaning brake dust out of the groove behind the spokes, but using these tools and the shampoo from 26JPN has just worked perfectly and I really love using this product. As far as prices go, it's the most expensive product buying as a 500ml bottle at £11, but it's slightly better value if you go for the litre option that's £18 and at present it's the only one offering a 5 litre option. The fourth wheel shampoo on test is Autoglance Hoops, another pH neutral offering safe cleaning options for delicate, painted, polished, diamond cut and bare alloy wheels promising no deterioration of your wheel sealants or waxes. As the other wheel shampoos, it's in straight away with the 10 millilitres of product to make up to the 500 millilitre total solution in the IK foamer. You can tell straight away it's a lot less foamy than the others and in no time at all, it's pretty much disappeared from the spokes and the wheel barrels. As a tyre cleaner, it's similar to the Autobrite Just Wheels for cleaning power, but for a pH neutral product I wouldn't expect it to remove anything too deep into the rubber, 
Autogland recommends Rebound for cleaning tyres and if you have grubby wheels then they recommend using Alkaloy. That's their alkaline wheel cleaner which is good clear instructions to which product to use in which condition that your wheels are in. Now sadly the bucket of shampoo is just out of sight but it's got the same 25 millilitres of shampoo in the 10 litres of warm water. That's been the same dilution as the 26 JPN but obviously a noticeable difference with how both products look. Now being super foamy doesn't mean it's going to work better or worse than one that isn't foamy but from an enthusiast point of view it's just a wee bit more enjoyable to use when it's sudsy and that's most definitely my own opinion. Cleaning the barrels with the EZ detail brush doesn't feel nice, it's almost like I'm cleaning them with water alone. I can hear the bristles more and I'm not seeing the grain coming out with the foam, visually it's unappealing. The mitt just doesn't feel as lubricated either and it just feels like the shampoo is performing like a standard car shampoo would on a wheel. That's coming up a little bit later on as a comparison. So after the rinse, yes, there is less suds to wash away, there also isn't any residue with it and inspecting the wheel it has performed well. And this is a front wheel which gets dirtier as the brakes work harder and the brakes are larger pads on the front of mine so although it's maybe not as fun to use it's certainly done its job and cleaned the wheel perfectly well. This is the cheapest so far at £8.95 for 500 millilitres. There's an even greater value for a litre bottle at £12.99 which I've only seen on county detailing supplies and 5 litres comes in at just under £30. So that's the first four dedicated wheel shampoos. There's still three more to come and one pH neutral car shampoo to come up in part two after the ad break. For the purposes of this test, I've been using two buckets. One for the shampoo solution and as with any two bucket method, the other is for a dunk slash rinse bucket. Just something that gets the majority of the brake dust off the brushes before going back into the shampoo solution, which keeps it cleaner. If you don't have a spare bucket, just try rinsing the wheel brush before dunking it back in the shampoo bucket. It's not as much of a faff as it sounds. High definition detail and breakthrough wheel shampoo, not to be confused with Breaking Point, which is their new alkaline wheel cleaner. This was the first dedicated wheel shampoo that I ever used. First application directly to dirty wheels, 10 millilitres of product in that 500 millilitre solution of warm water in the IK Foamer 1.5, the baby brother of the previous Foamer. Don't worry, it won't affect any performance of the products, but you will see a performance of the Foamer differ. This one runs out of puff a lot sooner than the Pro 2 one. So again, less foam, more of a watery consistency. And this sped up footage, it falls away pretty quickly like the auto glands. But HDD recommend a minimum of 50 millilitres of product in the foamer and this is only 10 millilitres. But I wanted to keep all the wheel shampoos the same dilution in the foamer to measure the difference between them. And also in the bucket, there's 25 millilitres of breakthrough in there as that's the minimum for an 18 litre bucket. But all the rest of the shampoos, except Garage Therapy and Autobrite, have been the same dilution, so I opted to keep it the same as 25ml. I do advise anyone who uses any chemicals by hand to wear the proper protection equipment, but I did forget here. I thought I'd be okay by using the brush handle, but believe me, I did suffer for it for up to a week after with dermatitis, so be careful while using chemicals. So I've got a nice bucket of sudsy shampoo there and it's doing okay with lubricating the brush in between the calipers and also in between the spokes. I wanted to show you the bucket of clean water to dunk the dirty brush into before going back into the shampoo. You could even have a grit garden there if you wanted to. I know Martin over an Obsessive Detailer channel cleans his brushes between uses and so does Mark at Sparkling Autos. Let me know if you do it in the comments below. The microfiber wheel mitt being used on the wheel faces again and it's slick enough really. It retains enough product in the fibres to work a good area of the wheel and the bucket of shampoo isn't being killed off by any brake dust. 
granted most of the harsher grime was dealt with by the brushes and I don't dip the mitt in the brush bucket for obvious reasons but if you were using a larger bucket with 50 millilitres of shampoo in it you'd easily get round all four wheels and still have a sudsy solution left in the bucket at the end. I'm using the wash mitt to clean the tyre here mainly because it's a week after I cleaned the wheel with the Autobrite Just Wheels and the tyres don't need scrubbing with a brush. So just to give the wheel a rinse down before we go in for a look at the results, I'll just go over the prices. It's available in a 500ml bottle at £7.99, that's the cheapest for this size, a 1 litre for £14.99 and it's another brand offering 5 litres, ideal for trade at £29.99. I'll recap the prices later when the winner will be decided. So just looking around the wheel and you can't fault the product at all. For a maintenance wash it's cleaned them with the help of the same brushes and the wash mitt. It really will be difficult finding an overall winner. I'm all set up and ready for the next one, the Detail Kitchen Wheel Whiskey, another brand new product from these guys, but I'll just show you now what I mean by a maintenance clean on my wheels. I would normally clean them every two weeks or even up to a month with a wheel shampoo, anything further and the brake dust can get too embedded, especially in summer with the sun baking the grime in. You can see where the brake dust lies in that groove I was telling you about and the wheel nut areas. So anyway, let's get back to applying the wheel whiskey. And same again for the 10 millilitres of shampoo to the 490 millilitres of water, making up a total solution of 500 millilitres in the wee IK 1.5 foamer. It produces a very thick foam. And possibly 10 millilitres is just too much, or maybe it's got too much foaming agent. I'm not sure, but the whiskey scent is definitely there for sure. I found layering this foam has an adverse effect with the weight of the foam pulls the previous layer down quicker than a single layer. I was really just wanting to use up the solution but you should definitely avoid over applying this one. I've been starting the brushwork from the top of this set of shampoos just as an experiment to see if it's got any adverse effects on the foam already applied and I can see where the theory of working from bottom up is coming from but also working from the top down is it not also helping flush out the grime from the barrels? Let me know what methods you use in the comments. So using the wheel whisky with the microfiber mitt is pretty much the same story. The product provides enough slickness for the mitt, doesn't feel grabby and all in all a pleasurable experience and a lovely product to use. So for a 500ml bottle this costs £9.99 at the time of recording and that's all that's on offer at the moment. It's not available in any larger sizes but obviously that could change after this video comes out because it's quite a new product. So check the description box below for a link to the Detail Kitchen website where you'll be able to see if it's available in larger sizes. So just as I speed up the film and you can see how nice and sudsy it is and will remain so throughout your four wheels. It also rinses away cleanly without any residue left behind and on inspection you can't complain at how it's left these wheels. The car's now three and a half years old and 99% of the time it's maintained by wheel shampoos on the wheels obviously. It really is getting harder to choose a winner but let's see what the next one has to offer. Duca wheels next and you get a real snap crackling pop from the foam with this one. This is my first ever Duca product I've tried. Used to see them being advertised years ago with some revolutionary wash mitt or pad, I just remember the hand. And I found this as I was searching through into detailing for a wheel shampoo to test out. A wee bargain at £6.57 for the 500ml bottle. So if you want that bargain, I'll leave the link below. I don't know how many of them are going to be left at that price. The normal price from Duca is £9 for the 500ml. It's available in 1 litre and also 5 litres. So that 10 millilitres has delivered a milky single cream-like consistency thin foam from the pH neutral shampoo. 
and it's doing not too bad a job of clinging on, wetting up the grime. Some of it has even flown out the bottom of the wheel already. Now looking on the Duca website, they say that this isn't just a shampoo with some wheel cleaner thrown in, or some wheel cleaner with foaming agents added. Who would do such a thing? I'm going to have to go and try that now. <laughs> so anyway, they say they've developed this product from the ground up to be a dedicated maintenance wheel shampoo slash cleaner. So let's see how I got on with it. The product label stated it had to be diluted at 200 to 1 for best results and by the time I got the bucket filled I'd gone right to the top which is 13 litres. So 65 millilitres of shampoo was required so you'd be lucky to stretch to 5 washes if you were using the big 20 litre buckets. So if I paid £9 for this I wouldn't be best pleased as those dilutions aren't on the website description when you're looking to choose the product. It's a bit sneaky. So using wheels with the brush it doesn't feel all that well lubricated. To be perfectly honest it feels like I'm cleaning with just water here. The more I go back to the bucket for more shampoo the more it seems to be just water that I'm collecting. I'll move the bucket into shot so that you can see. I'm feeling only slightly better than a spray wheel cleaner with this shampoo and with the wash mitt I'm finding I need to return to the bucket more often and it's not feeling well lubricated using it. It's not terrible though, it's just not that enjoyable to use in my opinion. I feel it's behaving no better than a pH neutral shampoo and I'll show you that just in a minute. Rinsing off though, no complaints with that, zero residue left and on inspection it's another thumbs up for the results but I'm just a little disappointed with the process especially with those higher dilutions. So why not use just any car wash shampoo? Let's see how this generic shampoo does. It's pH neutral and again 10 millilitres of shampoo in the foamer with just under 500 millilitres of warm water. It applies very much like any of the seven wheel shampoos I've been using in the video. Maybe even better looking foam from some of them. The sped up footage shows that although the IK foamer has done a great job of foaming the shampoo, it's not designed to be used in this way, it's got no cling ability and quickly falls away from the spokes so there's no dwell time to soak grime and brake dust. So that was just about 2 or 3 minutes sped up there and the shampoo is all but gone here. The bucket of shampoo with the brushes I've put 25 millilitres of shampoo in just the same as I've been using with most of the wheel shampoos except for the Garage Therapy and the Autobike Direct because those are highly concentrated. Even though I rinsed out the brush a few times between dipping the brush back in the shampoo, by about the third dip there's practically nothing on that brush at all other than water. It's known that brake dust kills shampoo suds, so a wheel shampoo has got to be capable of overcoming this obstacle if it's to be any good, and last for all four wheels. So that's one test criteria all seven have been judged against. Just take a look at this, it actually looks like the film is in reverse, because the brush seems to be removing the shampoo suds as I work around the wheel. That's just the first wheel as well, with rinsing the brush and just look at the shampoo solution after cleaning one wheel. Do you need any further evidence that ordinary pH neutral shampoos aren't really the most suitable product? It's all down to personal choice again isn't it? As I said at the beginning, I know professionals who maintain ceramic coated wheels with a wheel shampoo and others who just use a diluted all purpose cleaner. I think the industry is split three ways, detailers, valeters and enthusiasts. It's always been a joke about the difference between a detailer and a valeter and the answer being £20 an hour. I can only tell you my own opinion and that's that I love using wheel shampoos and unless I let my wheels go like this. I'll continue to use them in my wheel cleaning routine. So how about choosing a winner then Graham? 
I'm going to keep the test criteria quite simple. It's going to be initial cost with the best value getting 5 points, most expensive getting 1 point and all others in between getting 3 points. The cost per wash with the same scoring system and user experience which is obviously going to be my own. So that includes slickness, things like scent, labelling, suds, and cleaning ability. 5 points for the best and 1 point for the worst. All others getting 3 points. The same scoring thing. We'll count them all up at the end and we should come up with a winner. I'm going to use the unit price of 500 millilitres because not all of the brands are available to have them sold in a litre or 5 litre options at the moment. So these are prices based on their own websites. And the very first one, Garage Therapy 1 Shampoo, £10. High Definition Detail, £7.99. The Detail Kitchen, £9.99. Auto Bright Direct, £10. 26 JPN, £11. Duca, £9 and Autoglans £9.95 which makes high definition detail the winner at £7.99 for a 500ml bottle so they get 5 points. The most expensive is 26 JPN so they get 1 point and everyone else gets 3 points for being in the middle. On now to cost per wash. Now I've calculated just how much I've used in the buckets for this test, around 10 litres of water being more than enough to clean 4 wheels, but if you want to compare with 20 litre buckets you only need to double the results obviously. So the cheapest out of the 7 tested were Garage Therapy and Autobrite Direct, with both products being exactly the same price and exactly the same dilutions, so each of them costs 10 pence to clean 4 wheels as they only need 5 millilitres in that 10 litres of water. The most expensive product was Duca Wheels, costing a massive £1.17 per use as it took 65ml of product as described on the label as a minimum dilution. But to keep everything fair, if I'd used 10 litres of water, the cost would then come down to 90 pence a use, which is still the highest. The in-betweeners then are High Definition Detail Breakthrough, costing 40 pence a wash, Detail Kitchen, Wheel Whiskey and Autoglance Hoops using 50 pence a wash and 26 JPN, just a little more expensive, costing 55 pence a wash. Remember, these were based on the minimum dilutions as per the labels. That gives Garage Therapy and Autobright Direct 5 points each for being the cheapest overall to use, given a running total of 8 points. Duca only getting 1 point for the most expensive, meaning they're now on 4 points, and all the rest gaining 3 points for being middle ground. So the final scores for round 2 brings High Definition Detail to 8 points, Detail Kitchen to 6 points, 26 JPN to 4 points, and Auto Glands, they're up to 6 points. Now the final category is user experience. Now this covers pretty much everything that I've experienced using these products, like user instructions, safety information on the bottle, shampoo solution remaining sudsy in the bucket after four wheels for instance, does it clean tyres well, the price of it and lots more other things I'll talk about in the next couple of minutes. This was the hardest to score but here goes, I'll go in reverse order with what I felt was the most disappointing product overall and that was the Duca wheels. I just felt that initially on application it was thin and also looked very thin in the bucket and that was even after using 65 millilitres of the product. So not only was it the worst cost effective product in my opinion, it didn't feel very well lubricated using it either with the brushes or the wash mitt and by the end of doing four wheels the solution was a bit flat in the bucket. So for me this was the least appealing to use so therefore it only gets one point. So the best user experience were with Garage Therapy One Wheel Shampoo and Autobrite Direct Just Wheels. With their labels carrying all the information you need without having to resort to looking at websites, at a minimum of just 5ml of shampoo just shows how incredibly concentrated these shampoos are. And to be cheaper than 26 JPN, which uses 5 times more product, these two just had to share top billing. Not only does the suds carry on to the end of the four wheels, but both are very slick using the brush and microfiber mitts. If I was to only choose one though, it would be Garage Therapy One Wheel Shampoo, and that's due to it being able to cling on for longer using the IK foamer. And with the microfiber wash mitt, it just feels that little fraction slicker to me. And also with Garage Therapy, you can save a little bit of money by buying a litre bottle, which Autobrite Direct doesn't offer yet. 
so both smell very nice to enhance the wash experience and in terms of cleaning power I couldn't separate them at all. But in terms of which one I'd buy again it has to be Garage Therapy for its slightly slicker consistency and wetting ability. So they get awarded the 5 winning points. Looking at the final scores total now again in reverse order, Duca Wheels got 1 point in that round bringing their overall total to 5 points. All the rest in the middle got 3 points, bringing auto glands up to a respectable 9, while 26 JPN wheel soap slightly behind with 7 points. A real shame because this is an awesome product, only let down by higher dilution requirements and the cost of it. High definition detail breakthrough comes in to finish with 11 points, well done to them, mainly because it won the lower category of the lower costs. Also Bright Direct Just Wheels also finishes on 11 points, a fantastic effort by them with this new product but just slightly let down by being a little bit less slick in use in my opinion. The Detail Kitchen Wheel Whiskey finishes with 9 points, again a really lovely wheel shampoo which was only beaten because it came in middle of the road 3 times, beaten off by the cheaper ones and the more concentrated Auto Bright Direct and that overall winning product Garage Therapy One Wheel Shampoo. So a huge congratulations to Garage Therapy, still a very small company in the grand scheme of things, but out of the, all seven products I've tested, in my opinion, One Wheel Shampoo not only offers you the best value for money, but best wash performance and overall user experience, and was one of the founding products from the brand when they started. So that's all for me in this video, I hope you've enjoyed watching, it's been a real test for me editing all this footage together, but I got there in the end. So if you want to check out any of the products in the video, I'll have them linked in the description. While you're there, give the video a like to show your appreciation. I'll see you on the next video. Cheerio bye!